Boys and girls, welcome to the second of our stories in Pilgrim's Progress. Last time, do you remember where we left Pilgrim? He had been, he had left the city of destruction guided by evangelists and he was going to the narrow gate because he wanted rid of that big burden of sin. And when he got to the narrow gate, he knocked. And as he knocked, a hand reached out and pulled him in. He pulled him in and the door behind him closed really quickly. And inside, when he went inside, he could just hear these noises going ping, thud, ping, thud, ping, thud. Strange noises. And he wondered what it meant. Well, the hand that pulled him in belonged to a man who introduced himself as Goodwill. Goodwill had pulled him inside the narrow door. You see, boys and girls, we're born with wills which are bad. Wills which cause us to go away from God, which never accept Jesus. And what we need from God is goodwill. This goodwill which will help us to return to Jesus and to go in through the narrow gate. And so Goodwill introduced himself indeed to Pilgrim. And Pilgrim says to Goodwill, what was that noise I heard? I heard those strange noises, the pinging and the thudding noise after I came in. What was that? Well, said Goodwill, the reason I pulled you in so quickly is because there is an enemy to the great king. I am a servant of the great king, like Evangelist, I help people on the journey to the celestial city. But the good king has an enemy called the devil. And the devil wants to stop you from going to the celestial city. Let me show you what those noises were. And so Goodwill opened the door and reached out and pulled in some of the arrows. There were arrows outside. These arrows are fired by the devil. Look at the name of some of these arrows. And he looked at the name of some of these arrows. And one arrow said, Wait a while. There's no need to hurry. And the devil stops people from entering into the narrow gate with that arrow, saying you can wait till later. The second arrow said, No one else is doing it. People will laugh at you. And that's what the devil uses, boys and girls. He uses those arrows, saying to us, Oh, people will make fun of you. People, no one else is doing what you're doing if you come to the narrow gate. Or wait till later, wait till you're older. Oh, those are lies from the devil. Don't listen to him at all. Now, Pilgrim spoke to Goodwill and says, You know, I was told by evangelists I come to this narrow gate, I would get rid of this great burden of my sin. But Evangelist told me I didn't really understand what it means to believe in Jesus. And so Goodwill spoke to him and said, Listen, you have to turn your back on that old life of, in the city of destruction. You have to turn your back on that and look in a different direction. And he turned around and pointed him to a cross. Oh, I know that Jesus died on the cross, said Pilgrim. Well said, Goodwill. Let me tell you about Jesus. And so he opened up the Bible again and he told him the story about Jesus, God's son, coming into the world as a baby, living a perfect life and then dying on the cross for the sin of his people. He read a, bur a verse from the prophet Isaiah. All we like sheep have gone astray and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of his all. Iniquity is another big word for sin. And Goodwill was telling, indeed, Pilgrim, that you must believe that Jesus has died on the cross to rescue you. You must believe that Jesus is your only hope to get rid of sin and to go to the celestial city. And so Goodwill went on and told him the story about the two men who were crucified with Jesus. One of the men made fun of Jesus. Come down from the cross, save yourself and save us. He said, but the other man on the other side, who was a thief as well, he said to be quiet. We're getting what we deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said to Jesus, will you remember me when you come into your kingdom? In other words, he was saying, 
Will you save me? Will you rescue me from my sin? And Jesus said to that thing, today you'll be with me in paradise, the celestial city, heaven itself. And when Pilgrim heard this, he just said quickly to Goodwill, he jumped up, he says, I believe, I believe that my only hope is that Jesus has died for me. I want Jesus to save me. I want Jesus to take over my life. And as he said that, the burden of sin rolled off his back. The sin was cast away. And the reason, boys and girls, was instead of just believing in his head that Jesus is God's son and died in him, he believed in his heart that Jesus was his only hope. He wanted to know Jesus. He wanted Jesus to save him. He wanted Jesus to be his king who he would follow. And so as he come and believed in Jesus fully with all his heart, the burden of sin now rolled away. And boys and girls, the only way we can be rescued from our sin is by coming to Jesus and to know that Jesus is our only hope and to be willing to give our life to Jesus. And when we do that, the burden of sin rolls away. God takes away your sin. You believe that Jesus has died to save you from that sin and you'll never be punished for that sin. And so what a day Indeed it was for Pilgrim. And Goodwill said to him, Listen, you are now a Christian. You are a Christian pilgrim. You have come to trust in Jesus. But you're still a pilgrim. A pilgrim is someone who is travelling to heaven. You're still a journey to take. And he pointed towards the celestial city. You still have to go on that journey. Oh, said Pilgrim, I'll just call myself Christian now. I've come to trust in Jesus. My sin is taken away. What a wonderful change has happened to me. I'll call myself Christian. Well, says Goodwill, you have still quite a journey to go. It could be a long journey before you get to the Celestial City. And that enemy, the devil, Satan, he will try and stop you. Go ahead and you'll come to a place called the Palace Beautiful. And there you'll meet friends who will help you. And there they will give you what you need to be protected from the devil. Oh, Goodwill could see that Pilgrim or Christian, as he now was called, was looking very worried. But listen, says Goodwill, this great God, this great King, he will help you. He'll protect you. He will give you what you need to go the journey. You'll not be stopped. You'll not... Be forced to turn back and to go to the city of destruction. He will keep you. So trust in him. And so very gladly indeed. Christian now could travel on to the next part of the journey. He could travel towards the celestial city. Indeed. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed the second part of the story today. And I just pray that indeed. That you have come to the cross like pilgrim. You've come to believe that Jesus is your only hope. You're headed for the celestial city. And this great king will be with you in the journey. Thanks for listening, boys and girls.